So my pop this year was on data teams, specifically looking at steps three and four of the data team process. So I've talked to you earlier in the year about having my teachers be able to name and claim the things that they're doing really well, but then also to name and claim the things that they're not doing well, just so that we can replicate the things that are working for us and stop doing the things that aren't. Um, so as you look at my data, the first set of data is the number of data team meetings that I've attended, then the feedback that I've given on the data team meeting, and then the result for the student proficiency. So my goal was to reduce the amount of feedback that I give and increase the amount of feedback that teachers are giving um, to each other in their data team process. And I talked about in uh, January that we were going to be transitioning to less feedback from me and more from the teachers. And we, in February, early March, with all the snow days, um, I did a, a little mini training with them. I basically went in and recorded their data team meetings and then played it back for them at one of their data team meetings and we talked through that process. And so after that, I've really handed over a lot of that responsibility to them to, to keep us on track for the data team meeting and to um, evaluate the data team process. So yesterday when Cindy was out, I just slid it across one of my most effective data team um, meetings. I just took the rubric and I slid it across to one of the teachers and smiled and just kind of patted it. She picked it right up and got to it. Um, one of my other teams I had to ask, who would like to do it today? Because um, they're not quite as comfortable with that. But we are slowly getting there. And I would like to see us completely there before we head into next year. And that I become just a part of that process when I'm there, but not a part of thinking about and evaluating the data team process because they're going to be self-sufficient in that. And then student proficiency, we've kind of yo-yoed up and down throughout the year. Um, I think some of that has to do with when some of our um, units end and when the next one begins. Because I've put both formative and summative in here, you have the formative that's very early in the unit um, that's not as high um, for our students achievement wise as the data that's obviously at the very end. So I think that some of our yo-yoing up and down, I want to look at that a little bit differently next year, that if I'm going to do both, maybe pulling those out and having those, to look at those separately. Because that's my thinking about why the data looks like that, but I want to make sure that that truly is what it is and it's not that I'm missing some other bigger piece of it. So 